Hello and welcome, this is Ali Nasser, I'm SolidWorks Certified Expert and in this video I'm going to illustrate the best way to save your assembly. As you can see here in Design Tree Manager, I have many parties uh, I have created. Uh, also, I have some uh, uh, toolbox or standard parties uh, like uh, cab screw. What is the problem? Uh, if you want to save your assembly, just go to File and Save As. As you know, but if you uh, have you created uh, your part like this one in C partition and uh, another part in desktop on desktop and many parts uh, you save it randomly in anywhere uh, and you save it this part like this save as and. Uh, save in anywhere let's let's save in desktop here in this video save as if you save like this you will just save it the assembly and if you send your assembly uh, via mail to client or someone uh, this assembly will not opening because you don't have uh, the parties uh, with your assembly so mm, the best way to save your assembly simply it's go to uh, file and then select back and go when you select back and go it is li uh, something like uh, reunion your part is in one place uh, also you can save a zip file uh, but let's uh, save it here in this folder select your folder and save yes now your SOLIDWORKS work is save it all parties in one place even your uh, your toolbox or your standard also uh, save it this is best way uh, also if you have created um, something like new part or new assembly inside your assembly uh, and you want to save it as independent so the best way is save from uh, back and go this is all in our video and i hope this is helpful for you my regards Ali Nasser.